You carefully guide the condom onto your two men. You hop into bed with the hook. Ooh. Yes. Yes. Nope. Although successful, you feel less than satisfied. Technically speaking, you're no longer a virgin, but for some reason the thrill just wasn't there. You vow to continue your quest until you please your heart, not just your other organs. You put all your clothes... Aha! You realize you definitely reached out. Ah! Just give it to me. Some of the other girls are... Cool! To see which customer needed the biggest condom? No. To see which customer has the slowest spur. Okay, you shove the outside of le... You open the window and climb out onto the fire escape. You yank on the f You can't re- Say, you might have a new career in dumpster dive. Hey, look at this! You pop up with one perfectly good hammer with just a little bit of- Okay. So, jetzt speichern wir mal gleich mal. Verb. Speichern, speichern, speichern. Okay, Jungfrau mehr sind. Hammer, Hammer, Hammer. Okay, use your hand. Taxi! Where are you going? Lucky 21, pal. Fork it over. Thanks, kid. Don't do anything that might damn. You stealthily snitch a large, fragrant jasmine blood. Okay, it's some Yasmin Blüten. Oh, yo, 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 yo. You can't do it. Sollen da ein Helium-Container sein? In der Helium-Container sieht Schreiter. Thank God, a human. How you doing tonight? Okay. All right, I didn't want you. Wie so. Thank you. Wow. 
Larry. Wow. There's Where was I? Seriously, the more people you can be, the more fun you'll have. So let's see. Yeah, I'm kind of depressed lately. Mostly because all my routines start with me talking about how depressed I am. Then I'll ask how many of you have been to McDonald's, maybe get you to raise your hand. Then I'll mention the local sports team, that sometimes gets applause. And I'll the make some snarky get... reference to a nearby town that everybody in this town likes to ridicule the wall. just so the that wall. I can get chummy with the county. The just thinking about patience. Occasionally patient. I'll ask for a... The Presidium Arch, Thank just thinking patient. Just to let you know you're the supposed to The Presidium just think patient. What, me? A balloon from an anyway, earlier anyway, private... you know, it's hard being on stage for a living. Miraculous, and it figures it... are very insecure The marble-topped tables and... An comes home one night and the whole block has been cordoned off by The Presidium Arch, just thinking... Sorry, sir. We can't let you pass. While you were out, your agent came to your house and shot your family and burned your house to the ground. The actor's eyes get really wide and he says, My agent came to my house? Thank you. So that's why we're depressed all the time. It's because we're insecure, see? I'm also a little bummed because I loaned my friend Emo $20,000 for plastic surgery and now I don't know what he looks like. Let's see, I got insulted by my girlfriend the other day, the very first time we slept together. I was taking off my shoes and she saw my toes, which are all twisted and funny looking. I said the only thing that came into my mind. I said, sorry, when I was a kid, I had tolio. Then I took off my pants and she saw my knees, which are all knobby. And I said, I'm sorry, when I was a kid, I had measles. Then I took off my pants and she said, let me guess, small cocks? Thank you! True story! So, how many people we have here from out of town? Don't answer me, that was a rhetorical question. I can tell you're out of town by the way you're dressed, sir. No offense to your leisure suit. You know brothels are legal in this state, right? Don't say anything, that was another rhetorical question. Of course you know brothels are legal, everybody knows that. Speaking of hookers, this drunk guy thinks he's going into bordello, but he actually wanders into a podiatrist's office. And he thinks the nurse is the hooker. She says to him, okay, go around the screen and take off your pants and put it through. So he goes around the screen, takes off his pants, and puts his family jewels through the screen. The nurse walks in and screams. She says, that's not a foot. And he says, I didn't know there was a minimum. Well, you've been a trooper, but they're giving me the light. Either that, or they're trying to set me on fire. So stay here, Tracy Von Felcher the walls will be right out to ask the musical question, Tears of Joy. Chaz Racamundo's been a- Will the gentleman in the 15-year-old porno costume please return it to the- I wonder who that- Anyway. The diver ho- Oh yeah, Schei drauf geschissen auf das Helium. You ever made a toothbrush? Entschuldigen, rumfliegen. What the hell have you been eating you again? It's old number. Thanks, kid. Your bread is like sewage. Ah. Ich habe eine Karte. Ja, ja. The bouncer takes the pass and scrutinizes it as closely as his overhanging brow will. Hmm. Your rabbi. Um. Okay. Wash me rein. Thank you. Shalom. Right this way. Where 
Ordinarily, I'd be interested in something like that. But we Come on, sis, man. I'd rather let her Excuse me? Sorry. So, uh... Fawn. Somehow. Hey, Toots. My name is Lassie. Sailor. They're not mutually... Like to I'm just a girl who can't say no. All right, Larry. To nice presents. Oops. How about we get out there on the and we could dance some. I'm not sure, Larry. You see, I like a particular kind of man, and I. I'm not sure I. Ooh, she's risk. Keep going. What if I take you away from here, Fawn? We could go to my. Assuming you had a. Pl that sounds fun. Just as long as you're not cheap. I prefer men with means. Means? What kind of means? I like what any woman likes, Larry. I like flowers. I like sweets. I like... Can you get me those things? Can you get me everything I need to feel luxurious and free and totally ready to give you everything you've always dreamed of? Everything? And more. You see, I'll do anything for the right man, Larry. Anything. Are you the right man, Larry? Are you going to be the right man for me tonight? Oh my. She certainly has you standing at attention. Could Fawn be the one, Larry? Your one-way ticket to fulfillment? Okay, baby. Oh, Larry. I just love candy. Oh, Larry, I just love roses. Schmuck, die Schmuck. Oh, Larry, I just love diamonds. Oh, Larry, I just love your presence. Dance with me, you adorable fool. <laughs> and the crowd goes wild. I've never done that with a man before. It was so exhilarating. Are you as turned on as I am? Just close. Always! Are you thinking what I'm thinking? I hope! Then my answer is yes! Oh God, yes! Yes, Larry, I will! You will what? Why, marry you, of course. After all, I could never be with a man who wasn't my husband only if we were together in the eyes of the entire world could I really give myself to you completely utterly heart soul and body I'll also need two hundred dollars to reserve the honeymoon suite at Caesar's phallus I'll wait for you here once you've got the money we'll rush over to the wedding ready and at long last... Holy cow, Larry! It looks like your dreams are about to come true! You give Fawn your wallet. All oh, right! Two hundred dollars! Thank you, my sweet! I'm going to the casino right now to reserve the honeymoon suite at Caesars! Then I'll meet you at the wedding ready next to the casino. Don't be late, my love. Fawn hands you back your wallet, $200 lighter, and rushes off. Congratulations, Larry. You're one step closer to connubial bliss. Enjoy your evening, sir.
What? Are you my only customer tonight? I'm fine. The damage is 18. Thanks, kid. Fawn is standing at the ready at the end of the room. Next to her is a man dressed like some sort of clergyman. Larry, we're all ready for you. We do have one little thing to take care of, though. It's one hundred dollars for the marriage certificate, the ceremony, and the decorations. The decorations are extra. If you're too cheap to spring for them, I'll just take them down. Larry, no decorations? No, no, leave them up. I'll, I'll take care of it. Of course you will, Larry. After all, how often does a man who isn't Larry King get married? Hot dog. Now we're ready to knock this thing out. Finally. You all settle into basic position. A hush falls over the players at home. Barely beloved. Sorry, let me restart that. <laughs> Merely beloved. Jim. <laughs> Sorry, sweetie. You know how I get. Dearly beloved. We are gathered here today to join this main and this woman. Blah 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 blah. Do you, Lance Lassiter, take this woman? It's Larry. <laughs> Larry Laffer. I thought you said. Just go. Do you, Larry, Larry Laffer, take this woman? Blah blah. Sickness and hell forsaken and the rest. I... I do. Do you phone Forschwanger? Forschwanger? Take this man to be... to be your blah blah blah, honor and comfort and bail. Right. I mean... I do. You've got the ring. I have to have another ring? No, no, no. I've already got the ring. Keep this thing moving. Then by the power invested in me, Jimmy Ted hereby declares you done and done. <laughs> Congratulations. Pleasure doing business with you. I'm headed down to the wine cellar. It's inventory time again. <laughs> Employees only. I'm sure y'all understand. Fawn throws her arms around you and almost kisses you. Oh, Larry. Isn't it romantic? What's she talking about? Did something romantic happen here by mistake? I'll meet you at the honeymoon suite, Larry. Ready to give you my all. My everything. My very soul. Don't keep me waiting. I can't wait to take advantage of you. She's not done with that yet? Well, congratulations, Larry. You're a married man. Time to get over to the honeymoon suite and hang a sign on the door. Gone consummating. <laughs> nope. Apples! Apples! Apples for sale! Get your fresh apples here. Only one. What was fun, this? Okay.
Und da ist die Honeymoon Suite. Is that you, Larry? Larry. It sure is, baby. Come on in. I'm ready for you. You walk into the honeymoon suite. Your blushing bride is waiting for you. Hello, Larry. You're here at last. Forgive me if I'm a little shy. I've never been with a man who meant so very, very much to me. Excellent! You give yourself a quick pat down. Got my wallet, got my breath spray, and I'm come and get me late. Larry, that's so unromantic. A lady likes a smooth approach. Remember that. But you're married. You'll never need to approach another woman again. Right? Okay, die will's romantisch und more. You tweak the radio dial. There's nothing but static on this station. You tweak the rate. You tweak the radio dial. Jeez, why can't they make a radio that gets stations at all these little numbers? We'll be back to our commercial-free four-hour Barbara Streisand marathon. I don't understand that. How many times has this happened to you? You've just gotten married, and you forgot to get the perfect bottle of wine for your honeymoon. Don't ask the hotel to send up their finest bottle of rotten, overpriced garbage. Don't settle for trashy boxed wine they sell at the convenience store. The taxi driver will probably drink it all and you'll end up in a fiery crash. Don't let that happen to you. Call Snappy Liquors. We deliver anywhere, anytime in five minutes or less. How do we do it? That's what I'd like to know. Simple. We buy in bulk and pass the savings on to you. That doesn't answer the question. So call now, 555-8039. That's 555-8039. Liquor quick with snappy liquors. And now, back to more Barbara. Fawn turns off the radio. Thank you. Go order us some of that wine, Larry. Please. It'll make everything absolutely perfect for you know, Canubial joining. That's so romantic. Right away, dearest. You run your finger. How nice. Okay, Wein, 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 Wein. Wie war es? 555-8... Also 8039. Oh, jetzt brauchen wir das Telefon. Wo kriegt man hier Telefon her? So, da jetzt wieder zu dem zurück, wo ich vorhin war. Sieht fast so aus. Apples! Apple! Taxi! When will it? Lucky to. Thanks, kid! Five, 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 eight, null, three, nine, glaube ich. Hello, Snappy Liquor Delivery. We deliver liquor in a snapper. Yes, I just heard your ad on the radio, and I'd like to purchase some fine wine. Where do you want it delivered? The honeymoon suite at Caesar's Palace, please, and step on it. All of our fine wines have been stepped on, sir. That's why they're fine. Oh. Very sophisticated. And your order has been processed. We'll send one of our hottest young men immediately. Thanks for calling. What? What is? What did he mean? Hot. Taxi, 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 schnell, taxi. Taxi. Taxi, taxi, taxi. What is? Sind die wahnsinnig? Ja, ja, komm. Zu. Cesar Palace. Schnell, 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 schnell. 
Shit. Shit, 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 shit. Alright. Ja, ja, kriegst du, kriegst du, kriegst du äh, 19 Vloggen da, bitte schön. Ich muss schnell weg. Larry, beeil dich ein bisschen. Ah, Füße, 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 Füße. Ah, oh, Füße, habe ich gesagt. Wenn man es eigentlich hat, einmal im Leben, wenn man es eigentlich hat. Da kann man nicht mehr doppelt klicken, um das schneller geht. So, Hand, 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 Aufzug. 4, 4. Come on in. Oh, Larry, it's you. I thought it was that cute young delivery boy again. Hmm, what does she mean by that? Oh well, you decide to let it pass. For you. <coughs> Enchanté. Here's to us. Here's to you, Lex. All right, Larry. The stars have aligned. Now use those three words, every young woman. How about now? Yes, Larry. This is it. This is what we've been waiting for. Goody! Are you relaxed, my love? Yes! Are you ready for me? Yes! Oh, yes! Then... Let's get ready to rumble! What? What happened? Whew. That was great for me. How was it for you? Uh, is that it? That's it. Thanks for everything, Lance. It's Larry. Thanks for the ring, the candy, the money, the this, the that. The contents of your wallet. You did forget to pay me for the wine. Oh! I left you a few bucks. I'm not totally heartless. Just mostly. And thanks for the wine and... Oops! <laughs> you got me monologuing! See you later, sucker! Fawn? Oh, super. Sweetheart? A lesser man would be torn to shreds by this turn of events. But not you, Larry. You've got optimism. You've got resilience. You've got to find a way out of here. I have a knife. Very clever, Larry. You managed to work your knife out of your pants and use it to slice the bungees until... Well done, Lamp. You quickly dress. Now you're feeling ready to go back out and conquer the world. Again. The cheap knife broke in the process, so you dispose of it as any responsible gamer would do. 